everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am testing the Primark workout makeup range. Now I did this video and filmed it months and months ago but the video footage came out grainy and I couldn't use it so I've only just got around to redoing it. I'm hoping that this range is still in Primark. It would completely go to waste if I didn't try it. So I am all ready for the gym. I do a spinning class on a Monday so I'm going to put all of these products on. I've already put a little bit of extra stuff on because it's not a full range to do a full face of makeup and otherwise it will look a bit funny. So I have all these bits and bobs to try and I went and got some extras actually since I last did the video. I've also got a little workout workout kit to try and also some workout wipes. So I might use those after but or maybe before. I haven't put deodorant on yet because there's deodorant in there and I don't like it and I feel, already feel horrible because it's 20 past 11. Don't judge me people. I'm going to start off with my face and I have the lightweight workout foundation stick in light, I think. It was £2.50. I haven't got any forms of like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I really want to wipe my pits. That's what I really want to do. But if these are meant to work. Let me crack into this little pack. This is the work it workout kit. Oh, face wipes. There you go. Freshening. Feel fresh. I'll put it on after to take it off to see how it works. So in here you have Feeling Fresh Moisturising Cream, Body Wash and Work It Deodorant Active Fresh. So I am going to do a sweat test with this. I generally get very, very sweaty in this class. Um, so I'm going to try and sweat as much as I can and try and sweat it all off and see how hard it really does work. Because I, if I wear makeup to the gym, it's generally because I've come from somewhere, like the studio or filming or something. Or if I don't want to go completely naked and feel like a naked mole rat, then I might wear um, a little bit of mascara, some of these brows. This is Wonder Brow, so that is not coming off. I go swimming with Wonder Brow on and it stays. Or maybe a bit in my waterline. That's just if I don't want to go completely with nout on my face but generally I won't wear anything on my skin because I just feel like it clogs up my pores and I don't personally like the feel of, of sweating um, when I'm wearing makeup on my face but if you do I understand that some people do like it for the confidence boost if you're not really confident going to the gym or confident without makeup I know that I'm not always that confident without makeup but I'm growing to now give a damn so if you want to do that then do it right so I'm gonna put this deodorant on first this is work it out deodorant active fresh this isn't a first impression because I've used it all before. Well, actually, one thing I haven't used, I don't think, which is the another one of the powders, but I actually can't remember it because it was so long ago. So it practically is a first impression as well. Right, so let's let's deodorant on up. So what did you get up to this weekend? I haven't really used one of those, like, ever. Well, apart from last time. Did I use it last time? Anyway, gosh, this video is getting weird already. Woo! And I'm going to put some of the moisturising cream on my face because there is no powder. So I'm going to put some of that on. I'm not really getting like a crazy mad scent from anything thus far. Oh, it smells, I think I said this last time. It smells like old ladies. Right, wipe that on. So first of all, I'm going to use, like I said, the lightweight foundation stick. I think this was in light. It is a roll on. It is like sheer coverage. I've also got a sponge just to try and, I don't know, blend it in if that's going to be a thing. Um, so let's have a go. This doesn't feel very nice at all. Oh my God, that's accentuating. Every pore on my face. Oh, I'm going for it guys. I'm not holding back. I'm not gonna lie, £2.50, what do you expect, you know, but... Oh, okay. It's getting better. It's just hard to, like, blend in. Uh, uh. Oh, why am I so weird? Okay. I'm just going to use the mirror from the uh, No Sweat, sweat-resistant mattifying face powder to get a closer look. Let's get it over these, like, blemishes. Cover up those bags. Your old bag. When you first swipe it on your face, Honestly, just like accentuates every single pore. <laughs> this has a, a soft focus filter on it, but can you see here? It literally accentuates every pore until, well, I blended it in. If you like swipe and blend, I guess. 
you can see what it's doing. Once you blend it out, you see it looks a bit better. It looks alright actually once you blend it out. My top, by the way, is from Everything Five Pounds. It's um, part of the pack of three I got when I did the haul, which I'll put a little note and you can go and watch that if you like. So I'd say not the easiest to blend in. So next up, I'm going to set all of that into place using the No Sweat Sweat Resistance Mattifying Face Powder. Oh, it doesn't come with anything, so I'm just gonna use a little brush that I normally use to set my face. Get all of my other stuff off of there, cause otherwise they might be cheating. Ah, it's going everywhere. It's looking a little orange, but not too bad. I think it's a bit dark for me. And it's like clinging to certain areas. Oh gosh, it looks awful. Okay, so the colour selection, I think you've literally got, I had like not that many options. So this is ivory. You know, I wouldn't say I'm fair, fair, fair skinned. Um, so you're gonna struggle. If you are fairer than I am, I'm just gonna try and blend that in a little bit. It looks like powdery. It's not a translucent powder, so it's not gonna look translucent, but I think where the foundation was difficult to work in, it has gone patchy and it's kind of clung to those areas that had a bit more foundation on them. But as I'm blending it in with this brush, I don't know if a sponge was the best thing to use for the um, foundation, I was just having a play. A brush might have been better. Who knows? Okay, now I've blended that in a bit more. It looks a bit better, but it hasn't really covered up any of my blemishes. It's not meant to be full coverage. I get that, so that's fine. Maybe if I use my finger on those areas, might help. Oh yeah, okay, fingers help to cover them up a bit more. So if you're after a bit more fuller coverage, Maybe use a finger or you could use a sponge. If you want it to be probably gonna sweat it off anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I do not like the look of this. The camera might hide a multitude of sins, but this area looks okay. When you get down here to a more like problem zone, it's just clung all around here and it's really cakey all around here. And not nice. But it's two pound, isn't it? So what are you gonna do? Right, next up I'm gonna try and like, I don't know, contour or something apparently with the same uh, sweat resistant mattifying face powder but in warm beige. So this is gonna be a bit darker. This is gonna be a first impression, so I've not used it before. I'm going to use a contouring brush. Ah. This isn't meant to be for contouring. I thought I'd get it to try and like put something extra in my face, you know? What's that noise? I look so orange. I hate looking orange. Can't handle the orange, like literally something that just winds me up so much. If you want to rock it, then fine, but if I do, then no, I can't, I can't handle it. Take a bigger brush and just bronze up those cheeks a little bit. Get a bit of legit orange in there. I hope this is better on camera than it does in real life. Orange up the rest of me a bit. Oh, you look like you've been on holiday, where have you been? Primark. Okay, so next up, on the list is going to be, I think, this, which is the Finish Line Water Resistant Eyeliner. So I'm gonna whack that on. Let's zoom you in for this bad boy. So I'm gonna put this in my waterline and then smudge it a little bit. Oh, it's twisty, twisty wisty. that's good, I like that. Oh, I like this tanned look. From a distance, actually, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, no one's gonna get that close to the gym, are they? Okay, it's growing on me a little bit. Waterline me up. Sorry if people don't like this. Oh, yes. Hey, that looks good. Oh, I normally hold my um, eye down. Okay, that's not too bad. One second. I'm impressed. Depends on if it's gonna stay on. If that stays on, I'm gonna be so impressed. Water resistant eyeliner. My NYX Treasure Lee is the one that normally stays on. We shall see if this does well. I'm gonna run it a little bit just in the outer corner there. I'm going to run some of the bronzy one under the eye as well. Oh, it doesn't smudge up very easily. Okay, smudging a bit, smudging a bit. 
Get a little bit of a smudge going. Oh, okay, that's quite intense. Monday morning gym. But you know, go old or go home. I get some sweaty eyes on the go. Hey, this is going much better than last time. I like this eyeliner. I really like the eyeliner. Yeah, yeah. Now that it's sufficiently fluffed under my eyes, probably a bit too much for the gym, but I don't really care. So, uh, oh, my teeth are glistening. Damn. So next up, I'm gonna go for some mascara. Oh, before I do, I'm gonna put some lip balm on. So this is Protect Lip Balm, SPF 50, apparently. If you're going for, mm, what's happened there, hon? If you're going for a run on the beach, mate, might take some of this. I need to stop doing Australian accents in videos. I'm so sorry. Might be offensive. Wax for that on. Oh, it tastes horrible. Again, it smells a bit granny. Feels nice. I don't like the taste. What does it taste like? A bit artificially, like soapy. Right, next I'm gonna put on the mascara. Oh, let me just curl my lashes first because it won't really make that much difference at the gym, but oh well. Let's whack this on. Hi, Chester. <gasps> Love of my life. Are you coming? The cat wants to come in. Stop it. It's a big cat. He's like, can you actually not? Such a big animal. Do you wanna be the star of the show? It's like, mm, no. You do you, darling. Bye. Right, I'm gonna put this mascara on now. I'm very particular with mascara because my lashes, I don't feel are very long. I had lash extensions done before. And she told me that they were like average length, but I've never thought of myself as having long lashes. And I had them on for a couple of holidays that I went on. So like my Halloween videos, you probably see that I had lash extensions. So they're just starting to grow back a little bit because they went really short afterwards. The mascara feels very dry, but I quite like that because it means it's sticking to, like clinging to my lashes. So I quite like that. What? This is crumbling all over my face. Okay, mascara's fine. It's, I would probably wear it if it is waterproof enough to the, <laughs> to the gym, like, or to swim, because it's fine, but I probably wouldn't wear it day to day my first video is 24. Oh, that's an absolute lie. My first talking video is 24. Lastly, lips. I'm gonna get that off, that lip balm. And I'm gonna use the um, Shape Up Water Resistant Lip Contour. Lip, whatever, uh, what's it first? You were twisty as well. You twisty? No, I think it's a sharpening one. Anyway, this is in the shade Warm Up, appropriate name. Nice colour. Yeah, like that. Fine. Nice. Went on nicely. Yep. And then I'm going to use Lip Fix in also warm up matte long lasting liquid lipstick. Then I'll look pretty. Oh, it's darker than I wanted. People are going to be like, Hannah, why are you wearing all that makeup at midday to the gym? I can get an eye with it in the afternoon, in the evening. Because we've just done a full day, but... Hmm, I like that colour. It's a bit dark for what I'd want to wear at the gym. But it's nice. Ironically, my lips feel dry. I don't think I'll have to put it on, but they just feel a bit dry. Do you know what, so it was all going well until I like, put his lip colour on. And now I think it looks funny, but... Oh well. Oh, that's gone well, Matt. So here we are, here's before. And I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna go to sweat, and I'm gonna try to not wipe my face on a towel, and then I will come back and I will, yeah, show you my results. So, I will see you all very shortly. That was hard. And those wipes, no, sorry, this deodorant is awful because I smell. So I'm going to use one of these three-in-one sport wipes, odor neutralizing wipes to um, get rid of that because that was not good for that deodorant. Don't think that helped. I think we're gonna need a proper wash. That was tough, that was um, a really tough class and my chest was like really sore doing that, I feel like my voice has gone funny. So, my verdict is that I felt well orange when I was going to the gym. Felt a little bit ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. Do you know what, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with how it stayed. The mascara's fallen down my face a little bit, like speckled. It's got a bit of a dewier look now, which I think looks 
I personally don't like my skin to be too dewy, but it looks good with this because before it looked a bit too powdered and too cakey. So that's good. It seems to have like settled into my skin a bit better. It's actually got quite a nice glow to it now. It's sunk into my smile lines, which uh, I would expect with quite a lot of foundations anyway. Around my nose has kind of come away. And I think that's probably it. I didn't wipe my face at all. When I was sweating, I didn't wipe it away. I just let it do its thing. So I've just sweated into this. Yeah, but the eyeliner, oh wow, hello. That has worked, that is good. The eyeliner is good. I mean, it's come away a little bit in the outer corner there, but that generally does, like my eyes sometimes water. That's really good, I'm really impressed with that. The liquid lipstick, yeah, the liquid lipstick is pretty good. It's on and that stayed. It feels really comfortable. I wouldn't wear liquid lipstick to the gym. I think that's a little, a little step too far. But again, if you want to, make sure you're confident, do it, but it's okay. The powder actually stayed on in the contoured areas pretty well. Yes, yeah, so I'm quite impressed. In terms of how it has stayed on, I personally, as I said before, I, I wouldn't wear it. It's quite a humid day maybe, and you fancy having something that's gonna stay through the humidity, then great, and it's cheap. This liquid lipstick, I'll have to wear that again because it feels so lightweight and don't even notice I've got it on. It's non-transfer, so that's good. Can't really fault the liquid lipstick. The lip liner is really nice. I just probably wouldn't get that kit and use it reliably, reliably, because for four pounds you can get probably like a one pound deodorant, moisturising cream, fine. I'll probably just use that as hand cream. Body wash, I can't tell you yet. Um, let's have a whiff. Ah! Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I didn't use those little hair bubbles. They would not blast my hair. These, so you get these little elastic bands and then two like bobby pin things. Hair grips, but my hair is so thick that those little rubber bands would not do anything. I was gonna say this is a cute little travel bag, but it's already broken. It is sweat proof by the looks of things. To be fair, it didn't feel cakey. We did when I was first putting the foundation on, but after that, it didn't, it felt very light. It all feels quite light on the skin. It doesn't really feel like I'm wearing makeup, which is, which is pretty good. More impressed afterwards than I was before. So that's good. That's that. I hope you guys liked it. And if you have any questions or if you like these testing videos, please let me know and I will do some more for you if there are any other products you want me to test or anything like that. Put them in the comments below. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give this video a like if you liked it and would like to see more videos like this in the future and I will see you in my next one. Bye! They're dry. They're dry everyone. They're dry. Right, well I can't actually take it off with these because they're dry, pretty much. They're quite, oh, quite nice and cool. Um, I might use one of these ones. They didn't stop, I don't smell too bad, but they just didn't, they didn't stop it. And I'm not normally, like, I don't normally smell at the gym. I'm going wet. Oh, I'll just try and take some off here. Nice, like, line. Let's do a nice line. There we go. Took it off. Okay, that works. I doubt it will work with the... I'm not even going to try with the under eyes because it's just going to hurt me. Yeah, no, that's going to hurt. Let's have a little bit of a go on the other side with the other ones. These are moist. Very moist. Over the dream. Look at them. I take it off quite well. Yep, that's good. Oh, I feel a bit harder. Yeah. Oh, maybe it didn't take it off fully because look at the difference. Look how pink I am there and not there. This wipe made me a bit pink. Oh, I think it would take my makeup off better under the eye, but I'm not going to do it because it's going to hurt. I can already feel. Oh, liquid lipstick. Let's have a go at that. Oh, oh god, good. Takes off the liquid lipstick, then good job. What about the other one? To be fair, 
Those wipes take off the liquid lipstick. So the liquid lipstick is easy to come off. Well, they're both just very good wipes. Now I look like I've been drinking you know, cherry aid. I've had that like once in my life. Anyway, that's it. So yeah, peace out.